Yeah. Hi, Vindeshwara. So, good evening. So, we have configured company, right? So, rest of the things are there. Those are first one is I'm going to share my screen here. Yeah, rest of those are so company code and business area and credit control area. So today we are going to, I mean, configure all these three, right? So I'm going to this uh, SAP Easy Access. So we have one transaction code for the creation of company code. What is that company code transaction that is OAX02? So this is a company code. So you can just create your company code for your company, right? If you click on this new entries, you can just create that one, right? So before we create this company code, we need to know what is a company code. So company code is an organizational unit and extremely important in derive financial statements like profit and loss accounts and balance sheet, right? So every country must have some requirements for external uh, reporting purposes. Therefore, it is required to create or define the company code for different countries and assigning them to respective company ID for consolidation purpose. Suppose, uh, for one company code and uh, you are posting invoices like FB60 and FB70. So when you are posting those invoices, it should pick up from the company code only, right? That invoice should pick up from the company code. And the same report, the same report will be shown in that any FBL1N or FBL5N, right? So here, to create or to define company code in the SAP, so we will have one transaction code that is OX02. So other way, we will have navigation path also. So the navigation path is, when you go to this transaction code, um, not transaction code, it's a SPRO, then give the SPRO and SAP reference IMG here, okay? Then next one is the enterprise structure and go to the definition and then next to financial accounting. So here define, uh, where is that? Uh, yeah, edit, copy, delete, check company code. You can edit that one, you can copy that one, you can delete that one, or you can create that one, or you can check that one, right? So here, uh, this is navigation path and we are going with transaction code, that is OX02. Then here, New entries. What is the company code? So here I am giving uh, S A R A. Then next, what is the company name? Sara. Quotes and inputs. Okay. Then next city is Hyderabad city only. Then next country is I N, right? India. Then next currency. You can just uh, click on the drop down option. So here we can give the INR currency, right? That is Indian rupee. So here language is English language. You can drop down that option. So here you can just keep EN, that is English, right? What you need to do is just go to the save option and save that one. So here when you go to this save option, so you will have this edit address SARA, right? So what is the title? So here title means, Sarah means it's a lady, right? Miss, I am taking this. Yes. So here name is Sarah, exports and import. Right? So you can just uh, give the uh, search uh, term one or two, okay? So you can just give that one. Otherwise, it will not require. So here uh, you can just give the street that is uh, Modi Street and uh, uh, what is the uh, 
number. So give any number one, two, three, four. Then next, what is the postal code? Give file like uh, 82. So then next, what is the city? Is a Hyderabad city. Okay. So here you can just give the country that is IN. Here, IN is there. And region is where is it? Where is it is located? Where it is located exactly? Okay. So you can just take the Andhra Pradesh. No issue here. And then next, uh, what is that uh, post office boxes? Uh, Hyderabad only. Then next, what is the postal code? Uh, same, file up 82. Okay, then next, uh, English language. And if you want, you can just give the mobile number also. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. And your mobile number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. And uh, it's not mandatory. So, but when it comes to the real time, it is very mandatory. Like fax is mandatory, email is mandatory, standard come and method is mandatory, data line is mandatory, telephone box is mandatory, extension is mandatory. If you have the same extension, uh, like uh, I mean, in, in, in any MNC company, so we have telephones, right? So based on the telephone, so we have the extension numbers. So that one we need to take. Uh, so in the demo access, so we are not required that one to fill that details, right? So here you can just give the uh, save option. So here you can save. Data was saved and company code data was already saved. So this is about the company code. So for this, what you need to do, then the next step is assign company code to company. You can just go to the transaction code OX16. Yeah, uh, I mean here we will have position option. So here uh, you need to give the company code. What is it company code that we are created, right? So you can, if you, uh, I mean, uh, if you don't rem uh, remember that one, you can just go to the uh, drop down option. So here I am finding Sara, right? Sara is there, right? Yes, go to this option here. Uh, Sara is the right company, uh, company code and here, what is your company? Just go to the drill down option and go to the find out option that is Sara, right? So here Sara is our company, Sara exports and imports. And then what do you need to do? Just go to the save button and save option. Here assign company code to the company. Just give this one and go to the save option. The data will be saved. Yes, data was saved, right? The next one is define business area. So here we will have the business area. First, uh, here transaction code is there and also navigation path is there. So first I will show you the navigation path that is SPRO. Then just go to the SAP reference IMG. Then next uh, enterprise structure and definition. Then financial accounting. Then next here, uh, a defined business area, right? So we will have this defined business area. So before we move to this business area, I need to uh, tell you one thing. I mean, the definition of business area. Business area in SAP is an organizational unit within accounting. That can be classified as geographical wise and also product wise, right? As per the requirements of an organization. Under this business area, you can generate financial statement of balance sheet and also profit and loss account. So for each area and will generate internal reporting. So this is very important when it comes to the business area and definition is very important, right? Uh, so, I mean, uh, if you're appearing for the interviews, so, so for freshers, they will ask like that. What is the business area? What is the functional area? So, so like that, they will going to ask, right? So this is a navigation path. So now I'm going with the transaction code that is OX03. So here, this is the uh, new entry. Go to the new entry. So give your business area. So here the description is business area for Sara, right? 
you can just go to the save option. Here, go to the create request. In the create request, creation of the business area. Uh, for Sarah, right? So then just go to the save option. Save. OK, the data was already saved. Then next, what is the uh, second configuration? Uh, then uh, what is the configuration next? So define business functional area. Right, so uh, I mean in the demo server, we are not going to use this uh, uh, business uh, functional area. So I will just going to give you a brief way. Uh, that is the transaction code is FM underscore. Function OK, this is a process of a functional area. So why we are using this business functional area? Why because? Functional area in financial accounting or generally used to define the expenses in a company according to individual functional wise. OK, so. I mean it controls the expenses OK for that particular company, so that is why we will use this transaction code. So I mean for the it's a demo access, right? So it is not at all required to I mean configure this uh, business functional area. So that is why I am leaving this one. I mean in the real time, so we need to give this a business functional area according to the client, right? So then next, what is the transaction code for the credit control area? So we need to define the credit control area, right? So what is the transaction code here? Uh, the transaction code is OB45. Go to the transaction code. So yeah, this is the uh, screen that will appear like this. So credit control area, all right? So here we will have the navigation path. I will also show you the navigation path when you go to the uh, this search button that is uh, uh, click on SPR and uh, SAP reference IMG. Then uh, next one is the enterprise structure. OK, the next one is a definition. The next one is financial accounting. Then here we will have uh, yes, define credit control. area. OK, so this is the navigation path for the credit control area. So uh, before we configure this credit control area, I will just give you a brief introduction to the credit control area. What is that? A credit control area is an organizational unit for specifying and controlling customer credit limits. Right? A credit control area can include one or more company codes. Right? It is not possible to divide a company code into several credit control areas. So when they ask, uh, I mean, if they ask in the, uh, this question in the interview, so they will ask like that. Uh, so can uh, I mean can control credit control areas assigned to this different company codes, right? So uh, I mean these questions they will going to ask. Uh, so be careful with that one. And then next one is here. What is this one? OB45, right? So then next here, go to the new entries. Here, credit control area. What is the credit I am giving? Sara, right? So here I am giving currency as INR, right? So in the drop down option, you can find out that one. In rupees also. So physical year variant. So till now, we haven't created a physical year variant. So once we created that uh, a physical year variant, so uh, we can uh, just assign this physical year variant to this transaction code that is OB45. Then you can just uh, go to the save button option and go to the create request. Here, what is the short description? So credit area for SAR, right? So then just go to the save option and save it. Yes, so the total data was saved. So this is about the FICO enterprise structure. OK, so here I will going to show you one thing. Uh, 
the transaction code is when you go to this transaction code that one is ob y6 ha huh. go to the position give your company code yes here sara exports and imports you can see whatever we have created i mean whatever we have created for your company so the in this screen the total data will appear like this okay what is the language key that we have taken en what is the country key in what is the currency inr what is your company code we have created right that is the sara is the company code okay what is the company sara is the company yeah this is about the sap fico enterprise structure and uh, i will come up with uh, fico global setting tomorrow just wait for that one and uh, until take care and bye